excited for an AJ fight because I feel like he's going to start turning the screw now. You know, I think this is going to be a violent performance from him. Um, Otto Wilding's talked a great game. You know, his heart was beating out of his chest in the head-to-head -head, and I think he's looking at Anthony Joshua thinking, my lord, you are a lump. And tomorrow night I've got to take what you've got to dish out and there's going to be a lot of it and there's going to be a lot of hammer tomorrow night from Anthony Joshua. Wilding is a, is a great operator. He's a very, very talented southpaw. But, you know, if, if everything we see and hear is correct, get ready for a special performance from AJ tomorrow night. A huge amount of pressure, as always. You know, the world is talking about what might be next, what might be next. All that matters is tomorrow night and getting through Otto Wilding. At this point, it is no doubt that Anthony Joshua has murder on his mind. You can tell just by the look in his eyes. This is no joke. Everybody is saying they believe that we are in for a special treat tomorrow. And I'm none to say the less. Because I believe he gonna go in there and straight blitz this boy. But as you know, always, you can't just go off feelings and looks. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna tell you why I even feel this way and why I think other people are even feeling this way. First things first, when we look at Anthony Joshua and his training and the way he's coming along, one thing's for sure, you can tell that he's hitting with full potential. Bye. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Joshua is looking good and cracking a lot harder. You know what I'm saying? On top of his mentality seems to be solid and put together. When you look at this weigh-in right here, Anthony Joshua weighed in is something like 200 and 40 something pounds. I can't quite remember what it was. But if you look at his frame, he has about the frame that he had when he fought Andy Ruiz for the second time. And in that fight, I believe he was like 237 pounds. So the fact that he's weighing heavy, and you know what? That means in this fight, he's weighing about the same weight or heavier than when he fought Klitschko. And if you look at that fight when he fought Klitschko, he came in fat and husky. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that he looks smaller, but he's weighing more means what? That means height to perfect. That means he has gained muscle. And why would you gain muscle? Because your body has to compensate for the stress that you're putting it under, which means he has gained strength, which explains why we've been watching these videos, him training and stuff. And it looked like, you know what I'm saying? He could crack a train in half. You know what I'm saying? And it's looking good. So that explains that. The other thing is um, this boxing tribute um, article right here that I was reading. When I was reading this article, I seen him talk about his legacy, but it was the end part that got me. And this one, I knew his head was screwed on straight because he talked about boxing, his legacy and get back on top of all that stuff. But he ended it where his real legacy is his family. And that's when I knew that he understood and he ultimately got it because he knows that he's really not appreciated for what he has done in this sport. And the real goal is to be able to take care of of your family you know and that he is already past the finish line everything else from here on is really just the icing on the cake in life he's already won and once you realize that the rest of this should be somewhat easy you've already secured the most important thing your family's future so when he ended it with that i realized that he now realized what's really important the boxing world going to pick you up, going to drop you, going to throw you to the side. The only thing that's going to be there in the end is your family. So at that point, I understood that his head is screwed on straight, which explains what we're seeing right here. So from right now, this is just domination and murder, death, kill, what I see in his eyes. And that explains everything that we're seeing right there. So I can't wait for tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe. Bruce Vane, I'm out.